Hi everyone, welcome back to TS Talk Sport. Just doing a review of our 3 2 win um, at home against Watford in the final game of the season. Um, obviously, this um, result resulted in um, Watford being relegated to the Championship. Um, and, you know, it is what it is. You know, I know some Arsenal fans, like I said in my preview, would have, you know, wanted this sort of result to send Watford down following um, Dini's Cajona's comments. Um, a few seasons back and you know my opinion on it was is that some of the things he was saying was true um, but you know in life not just in football you know the comments you make or the actions you do will at some point come back to haunt you and you know it, it seems it's, it's haunting Deeney and that Watford side today as they've been relegated um, to the championship but on the game overall um in the end, it didn't turn out to be a good performance. Bearing in mind, you know, we was 3-0 up after 33 minutes um, following two goals from Aubameyang. Especially the second one from Aubameyang was, you know, top-notch. Um, obviously, Tierney getting his first Arsenal goal also. Um, you know, just before half-time, Deeney scored a penalty. And, you know, that was following a foul from David Luiz. And, you know, he set a record, um, you know, which is giving away five penalties in one season. And, you know, regardless of whatever performance... Um, he puts in next week and also the performance he had against Manchester City the other week, um, he should have never been given a new deal. That's just the reality of it. Um, I know some people say, oh, yeah, he'll be good for another year and, you know, if we play in the back three, but um, to me it's quite evident Arteta doesn't want to play in the back three and, you know, he's only done so for some games um, to kind of build up some sort of solidity and obviously today we didn't really play with a back three either. Um, you know, in the second half... Watford were really up for it. And, you know, they came at us and, you know, Welbeck got a second and, you know, probably would have had a third um, if it weren't for Emi Martinez. And, you know, I have to say, in, in total, Watford had more shots than gold than us. Um, and, you know, it's just, again, down to either poor finishing or, you know, top quality stuff from Emi Martinez. Um, you know, we had an opportunity to to widen the lead further, you know, when Nketiah came off the bench, you know, he, you know what Nketiah does, you know, he presses from the front and, you know, he got himself in on goal and for me, he should have just taken the shot but, you know, he tried to square it to Bamyang but his pass over to Bamyang was pushing him a bit too far out wide and, you know, Bamyang wasn't able to convert it. Um, at the end of the day, I understand why he tried to do it. Obviously, Bamyang's chasing the golden boot but at the same time, you know, just, just, take the shot on and score, in my opinion. And maybe Eddie was feeling a bit, you know, he was doubting himself. I remember, I, was, I believe it was last season, final game, you know, is when he got his first Premier League goal. Uh, you know, some people saying, oh, he should have squared it to a Aubameyang. So maybe that was playing on his mind and he thought, oh, let me try, you know, get him in on the axe. But, you know, it didn't turn out to be that way. Um, I have to say, from Watford's perspective, um, I thought that um, Decore looked decent. And, uh, you know, for me, he, he's one of the players on that side that I'd be thinking, you know, I'd be if I was involved at Arsenal, I'd be saying I'd be querying how much it would be to bring him in. You know, I'm sure it's not going to be a ridiculous amount of money, and I'm sure it's something doable. And, and I believe he'd strengthen us in the midfield area. Um, another player that you know I've been keeping some tabs on. Um, he'd probably be a bit more expensive to bring in, but you know he looked a bit dangerous when he came on for Watford. Was um Jao Pedro, um, and yeah, it'd be interesting to see what Watford do. Um, next season. Um, obviously, I'm not a Watford fan, but, you know, there's going to be a lot of players at that club which they're probably going to have to get rid of, you know, based on everything in terms of wages. But, you know, they've got some good young um, prospects in that side, you know. Some of them don't, don't really get much game time. Um, the likes of Domingos Quina come to mind for me as someone that's got, you know, um, decent potential. Um, João Pedro, as I said. So, you know, it, it may be something where Watford are able to build himself up a, a decent youthful side um, for next season in the Championship and push for a, a, a place to come straight back up. Hopefully that's the case for them. But, you know, um, back to Arsenal, you know, me, meant that, that result meant that we finished eighth, which was the highest that we could have finished today anyway. Um, you know, worst finish, and I believe it's 25 years, um, you know, which isn't good at all. And like I mentioned in the preview, Arteta agreed to that, said it's, it's not good whatsoever. You know, when you look at it, at the end of the day, we finished 43 points off of Liverpool. Um, who obviously won the league champions. Uh, Man City, we were 25 points off them. Um, you know, when you calculate that, 25 points off Man City is like eight wins and a draw. So, you know, it can sh goes to show how bad we've been this season, bearing in mind Man City haven't been that great either. And, you know, it was 10 points off of Chelsea and Manchester United, you know, who took up um, the other two top four spots. So, you know, there's definitely a lot of work to be done um, in terms of bringing players in and out of the club 
um, this summer. You know, I will be doing um, videos on, you know, plays I think, you know, should be moved on. Whether that's, you know, we need to sell them or, you know, plays that need to go out on loan. And I'll also be doing videos in terms of players that I think, you know, um, we need to either bring into the side. Some players that, you know, currently play in the under 23s who I think need to feature in the first team a bit more next season. But, you know, um, we move on now to the FA Cup final. Hopefully we can get the result in that and, you know, end the season with some form of um, silverware. Um, and obviously winning the FA Cup would get us into the Europa League also. So, you know, it, it's not been the the best season, but maybe there is, you know, some sort of silver lining to it come next weekend. And I will be doing a preview for that game also. So that's it for me on that one. Um, if you haven't already done so, go hit that subscribe button now and I'll catch you next time.